Suppose the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are 14, 17, and 20. What is the 21st term of the sequence? Now, first of all, arithmetic sequence, that just means, um, like, that, that just means a sequence where all the numbers are increasing by the same number or decreasing by the same number. So, in, this, in the sort of the sequence, 14, 17, 20, the number, um, the number we're increasing or decreasing, we call that the common difference. So, in order to figure out the common difference first in the sequence, just take 17 minus 14, and that would be 30. You could have also just took 20 minus 17 and got 30, but no matter which of those two you use, you still get 3. And you also could have just saw 14 plus 3 is 17, 17 plus 3 is 20. So the common difference would have to be 3. Either way you do it, it's fine. But this is the more methodical way to do it once you get bigger numbers. Like, like, uh, like I don't know, like 16 and then 528. You can't just calculate that in your mind that easily. So you do eventually have to do some of this work eventually i mean you eventually have to do some of this work so just get, get get you trained so anyways okay let's focus on this 21st term thing now let's think about this from the from 14 take one step to get to the second term two steps to get to the third term and take another step to get to the next number the common common um the common difference that would be um uh, the common difference, that would be 3, so the next number will be 23. So you take 3 steps to get to the 4th term, so it looks like the 21st term, you would take 20 steps. Now remember, now remember you got to be careful. Don't, don't be lazy, you still have to figure this out. You can't just say that, okay, that there's not 21st term, so you take 21 steps to get to the 21st term. That, that, I mean, that makes sense. But it doesn't if you think about what I just said, because one step to get to the second term, because you're already at the first term, right? It's like you're, you're already at 14. You start at 14. There's no step you take to get to 14. But when you say you take 21 steps to get to the 21st term, you're counting this 14 as a step. But it's like we're, we're, we already have 14. We don't, I mean, we don't need to get 14. It's like, when you're earning money, you already have this much money to start with, right? You, you don't want to earn that much money again. You already have that, that, that stuff to start with. So 14, it's not a step. Only taking the steps, adding numbers, adding this common difference to three, only doing that counts as a step. Okay, so that's what you have to be careful with. So now that we know you take 20 steps, well, each of those steps is worth three, so multiplying by three it makes sixty. That would be how much how much you take, how much in these twenty steps you take. So sixty, you have the like um the ending number is sixty away from the starting number. The starting number is fourteen. So just start from fourteen, take twenty steps. Because each of those steps is free. You take 60, 60, um, say 60 numbers, I'll say. So you just add 60, and then you get 74, which is your answer.